flow. It's a heightened state of consciousness where we become one with the activity we're engaging in. Becoming one, where you're not separate from the activity, you're part of it. Your energy is what makes the activity what it is. So this can literally be anything, our work, research, writing, any activity we engage in, such as a hobby or a sport, what we do with our relationships when it comes to connection, conversation, and time spent. When we're in flow with what we're doing, there's no sense of time. Our consciousness is focused solely on the task at hand. So there's no concept of the past, future, or even present for that matter. Which is why when we come out of being in a state of flow, time seems to have flown by. We all know that saying, time flies when you're having fun. It's because we're so immersed in what we're doing that nothing else really matters. During flow, everything just seems to fall into place seamlessly. Nothing holds us back or forces you forward. You don't question yourself. Instead, you trust yourself. You listen to your instincts. You allow your intuition to guide you and you have a deep belief in the process. Flow state requires very little effort. You actually don't even realize the effort put forth until the flow state is over. Because again, we're so immersed in it that we aren't thinking about the energy, time, and effort put in. There's no thinking involved here. In fact, there's actually no identity here either because you actually end up forgetting about yourself when you're in a state of flow. Instead of being focused on yourself, you're one with the activity being completed and therefore not separate from it. In flow, you've been able to clear all the narrative that fills your mind on a regular basis. And without all the relentless storytelling and negative self-talk, you start to discover this better version of yourself. You get out of your own way in order to discover greatness. You lose your mind to find your flow. So what's the secret? How do we get into this state more often? The answer lies within. Although it's easier to get into flow when you're passionate about something, most people would like to achieve it more regularly. So you need to think about what activities put you in a state of flow. Is it running, walking, journaling, sewing, listening to music, doing creative work or lifting weights? This is the best way to get into flow more and more in your life. Find that thing that puts you there and include it in as a daily self-care ritual. This way, you visit the state more frequently until it becomes a learned behavior and soon a part of your life.